Amen. So you may, we may be in a busy world, and this is an opportunity for us to slow down. This is, a, this is an opportunity for us to get intimate with one another, get to know each other. That's the type of relationship we should have with the Lord. We should have an intimate relationship where we get to know him, where we're spending time. It's when you sit down with someone at the table, when you go to visit your loved ones, when you go there, don't just jump on the phone and, and go to a television set. Sit at the table. I'm reminded of the times I used to spend with my mother-in-law. She would serve coffee, and we would sit at the table, and we would get intimate. She would always be so hospitable to have us over. And there was never a time where she didn't take the little bit that she had and put it on the table for us to, to enjoy. And the conversation was the, was the best part of all. The Lord wants to have a conversation with you. Come on. He wants to have, he wants to have intimacy with you. Woo, and he's brought you here today to get intimacy with you. Because Martha and Mary, sometimes it's hard to have a merry heart in a Martha type of world. Come on. The Martha world is it's so busy. There's so much going on. Come on yeah. And sometimes God wants us to slow down and just have time with him. Yes. Spend time alone with him. But as we fellowship, that's why it's so important that we fellowship as a body of believers. We're able to draw closer to one another in intimacy. That's what relationship and fellowship is all about. As we partner together and we do this together, you don't have to leave here today feeling like you may be a little depressed because maybe you don't have your physical father here. But I'm a blessed man. I, I want to say I got my father here with me. I, I want to honor my father right now. Father, bless you. God for him. When I, was a, when I was a boy, I didn't honor him the right way. As I got to be a young man, I realized the goal that I had, I had the value of what I had, and I wanted to cultivate intimacy with my dad. Amen. And, and, I, and I just want to say it's a, it's, a, it's a pleasure to have him here with us. But when I looked at the scriptures, what Martha was co uh, covered about with much serving, you get so busy doing things that you don't want to sit at Jesus' feet. Woo! And you don't want to receive what Jesus wants to give you at his feet. Amen. You can't get that anywhere else. And some people think you can go to this church or that church, but it's not true. You have to go where the Holy Spirit has planted Come on. you. Come on. Amen. Because you can put a seed into the ground, but it has to be in the proper environment where it can grow. And it's got to be watered, and there has to be proper lighting for it to grow. Yes. So if you're not in fellowship, I encourage you to get back into fellowship. It may not be with us, but as long as you're somewhere and you're gaining intimacy, and the most hospitable part about you is when you receive the Lord, amen, into your house. Amen. Because some of us have a physical house that we have in a spiritual house. And God is saying, I want to come in. I want to sup with you. That's intimacy when you break bread with your brother. Mm -hmm. We're going to break bread here in a little bit. That's going to be the time of intimacy. Mm -hmm. And I can't emphasize that word too, uh, uh, that much more. But I want to say this much. If you are here today and you don't know him as your Lord and Savior, if you don't know Jesus as God, then I say God Almighty. Amen. If you don't know Jesus as God the Father, Amen. I pray that you take a moment and you come and speak to somebody. It doesn't have to be just with me. If you, somebody you feel comfortable with, the Holy Spirit will lead you to that person. And you can speak to that person and they can show you how you can live a new life, a resurrected life. Amen. You can live a great life. I don't want to live a good life. I want to live a great life. Amen. 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 Come on. And the thing that, that God has for you is great. It's not just good. It's not just ordinary. It's Woo. not just familiar. Yeah. It's not something that, that to wear you down. Come it's on. a great, abundant life that yes. God wants to give you. He yes. wants to give you everything that he has. Because when I go to my father's house, everything in the cupboard belongs to me because it's my father's house. Come on. Amen. Amen. I'm a reminder. If I want the keys to your car, here you go. Here you go. Amen. And it's the blood of Jesus Christ. Yes. That's what we're talking about. It's forgiveness and everything is available to you today. Yes. It's Amen. Father's Day. Yes. It's Amen. about Him. I want to thank. I want to take thank my brother for coming. You guys come. We're going to worship the Lord one more song. I know some people are probably hungry, but this might be your last chance. Amen. This might be God may have ordained for you to come. It may yes. be a person walking by. 
when they see your praise, when they see how you worship your God, now is the appointed time. Amen. Today is the day of salvation. There's, this may be Amen. your last opportunity. Amen. So as we worship this song, I want you to just contemplate. I want you to see, God, am I a person that's trying to serve you out of religious activity, or am I trying to gain intimacy with you? Amen. Am I trying to have a relationship with you? Because there's some that have prophesied, there's some that have called out in his name, and he said, depart from me because you never knew me. Amen. Because they never knew him. And there are many people that are wearing that those shoes right now. They don't know him like they think they know him. And eternity, it costs too much to take a chance. Because the commandment of God is clear. Yes. It's clear. And when you look at the commandment, and when you put yourself there, there's a mirror. And it says, thou shall not kill, thou shall not steal, thou shall not commit adultery, thou shall not have false gods. There is no Savior besides Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You guys come and worship the Lord. If, at this time, I, I just want everybody to be in reverence of our God. It's, when we're done with this, we're, I'm going to do this. I'm going to say this. I was going to take up an offering. I'm not going to take up an offering. I'm going to do, I'm going to place a hat over here. If you feel led by the Lord to give, if you feel led to give God something, if you feel if you in your need, if you got some money you want to give to God, I'm going to put a hat there. You give to God. That's between you and God. We're going to worship the king. Let us just worship him. If you need prayer right now, I want Brother Grant to come back up for a moment. Amen.